Hi everyone, we are going to be making abstract art and we are going to be using eight different watercolor techniques. Before we do any watercolor, we need to prepare the page. We need to use tape in order to divide the page into eight sections. So you place a strip of tape uh, down in order to create this, the eight sections. Each of the sections is going to be one watercolor technique that you are going to practice. So let's take a look. Okay, so prepare the materials you need. Here I have my page divided into eight sections already. A little bit of water in a container, tissue paper, my brush, and my watercolor palette. The first technique we're going to practice is called wet on wet. You're going to use two colors to blend into each other. You're going to use your brush and clear water to wet a whole section and um, think about the colors you're gonna use for your project. Maybe you're gonna do analogous colors, maybe you're gonna do cool colors or warm colors. Uh, so think, think beforehand. Um, so here I'm just doing purple and red and I'm going to stick to those colors all throughout. So um, I already wet the section and I am adding purple on one side and red on the other and they're gonna blend into each other. You can tilt the paper to help the color blend into each other. Remember, if you have too much water, you can always take a little bit of paper towel and absorb the extra water. The next technique is also a wet on wet technique, but this time we are dropping color you need to use your brush with clear water and wet a whole section just like we did before and you are going to take color and slowly dip it into the wet areas and you're going to see how the color starts to spread out it's kind of like a burst of color Keep going, keep dripping color. It's gonna start looking like tie-dye. Remember, if you have too much water, you can use a paper towel to pick it up. Technique number three is crayon resist. You might have done this in elementary school. It's really fun, I really like it. You can use a white crayon to create a design and then you add watercolor on top and you see the design appear. Technique number four is tissue blot. You need to put down a wash of color and while it's wet, use a napkin or paper towel to blot the area, leaving a mark. Number five is dry brush. You barely use any water with this technique. You mainly use the bristles of the brush and the color from the palette. And I love this technique because it creates a lot of cool textures. Number six is plastic wrap. You need to put down a nice wash of color. While it's wet, you take a piece of plastic wrap and put it down, making sure it's a little bit wrinkled leave it there you're gonna take it off the next day number seven alcohol you need to put down a nice wash of color and while it's wet you're going to drip little bits of alcohol you're going to see that the areas with alcohol the color fades out so it's kind of the opposite of the second technique that we did number eight salt Put down a wash of color and while it's wet, you're going to add salt. Do not remove it, leave it there until it dries. Okay, so now you're all done. Remove the tape very carefully. Remove the plastic wrap and the salt. You can check your work. If you got a little bit of watercolor in the white areas, you can use a little bit of white acrylic paint to paint over them. Here's another example that I did using opposite colors, blue and orange, and the same techniques you just saw. So have fun, 
Try to be neat and remember practice makes progress. Bye!